Well, my next guest is ABC Fox 45, ABC 22, Fox 45, Lisa Barhorse. Please make her very welcome. Back to the show. Hey, uh, ho! Hey, Lisa. So glad to have you back. Good to be here again. You know, it was January when you were here last. I know. January. Wow, time flies. And some, you told me something, and I was very surprised. If I remember correctly, you said only 15% of the managers of, of the stations were women. Yeah, less than 15% of what all television stations What do we got to do to change that? Because I told you I'd work country. for a woman over a man any day. Yep, less than 15%. What do we got to do country. to change that? Mm-hmm. Is it an, uh, uh, what they call a... Um, Oh, not an old boys club. A you know, I think a lot of there. that is really starting to change. Um, but it, it's it's tough too because you know if uh, you know with family obligations and there's a lot of sacrifices that need to be made to to have you know some kind of, of work life balance and it's a demanding travel schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a demanding community schedule because you put a lot of time into giving back to the community f- on behalf of the station. So. I think it's not always just the corporation's fault that you know women um, aren't promoted to those positions. You've got to have qualified women that are able to you know have the support from their spouses and you know other help to be able for everybody to to get it done. You know, so yeah. it's it's a combination of things. Well, uh, one of my questions in the quiz, people are going to be amazed at the percentage of women breadwinners in families where men stay home you mm-hmm. will be amazed when you get the answer can't tell you the answer because no, then women. i yeah <laughs> i'll get it right but yeah but i now, think it's starting to change i think it's it's, it's starting to change i'm seeing more and more uh women into maybe not the general manager positions uh vice president general manager pos- positions are still under 15 percent but the next levels like the directors of sales the news directors much more increase in women in those positions so that's great yeah it's changing now so. if i remember correctly because you know we showed that it clip is too late were, though i mean it's 2013 come yeah, on already yeah, let's get going uh, we showed that clip where you were dancing in that contest. Yeah. And did you say, uh, let me think now, uh, did you say the next contest was going to be in uh, Valentine's Day and Valentine's? Was the the, next- the special wish was having their next one, um, which is what I had danced in last year. Um, then I'd also done the Ohio Star Ball competition, but my next competition's in Cincinnati in August. You guys uh-huh. should see her uh-huh. dance. So I'm I starting said, to practice wow. right now, so. You said yeah. you practice a lot. Yeah, I've I seen do. her. She's a pro. Oh, I, when she showed that clip, we <laughs> were amazed. <laughs> uh, I was just amazed because he picked her up and threw her over her shoulder. Yeah, yeah. right yeah. around her neck, right around his neck. Yeah. yeah. So. so now you're a mother. You got a nice husband. You got three great boys. Great husband, three great boys. And um, watching you guys, and I'm telling we're completely you, completely different, aren't we? The news and the two new people. Yeah. See, I watched him when he was with. 19 in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah, he's great. Jack's a and great I guy. I really like him. Yeah. And well, he's really experienced. It makes a big difference. Yeah. What's, what's Deborah Lynn. Deborah. She came from Charleston Huntington. They really compliment each other. Yeah. And that's so nice to yeah. see that. They both they both um, are experienced. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, been in the business a while and, and know what they're doing. So it makes makes the rest of us our jobs a lot easier. You know, something I was going to ask is I talked about Queen Latifah. Uh, do you managers get a lot of these uh, syndicated shows that are just starting up and then they, they mail them out to you and then you select and, and you look at the cost because yep. some of them are different costs. Yeah, exactly. We work in our company, the company that owns ABC 22 and mm-hmm. Fox 45 here is the largest owner of broadcast stations out there and, and we're soon to have 140 stations in 70 markets. So when our folks at the corporate level go out and, and start to talk to people about programming, they'll buy shows for a lot of the different markets mm-hmm. for a lot of our stations. So that helps us negotiate a better price. So yeah, the, the, the um, people that are syndicating either, either the off-network shows, like we have Modern Family coming this mm-hmm. fall, five days a week, um, is another one we have. Either those shows or these first run shows in syndication, they'll come in, show them to this to me, to the station general manager, and then we'll tell our corporate folks what we think about them, and then they'll help in negotiating that 
uh, price, which was different from wh before when each station bought individually. Yeah. And, and now takes we can, a little pressure off yeah, of you Yeah, it takes too. a little pressure off of me so we can do some um, group deals on those shows. So if corporate decides to, like it's going to be Queen of Tifa, be mm -hmm. this fall in the afternoon, does that mean uh, all Fox affiliates for your company, Queen Latifah? Not necessarily. Just, okay. um, they also look at the markets and what what is a better fit for uh, certain stations. And, you know, like the viewers of ABC 22 are um, primarily women, mm -hmm. uh, primarily, you know, women with children. And so um, somebody like Queen Latifah, who appeals to a lot of a oh, lot yeah. of different people hits hits home right with those women you know Something in that daytime o audience so so it's going to be a good fit for that show so they look at those kinds of things too so we'll, we will have her show on the ABC station at four o'clock well, kind of kind of the old Oprah time period of the day for yeah, a lot of TV four. stations yeah well of all the ones out there um, uh, there's a lot of new shows out there. Mm -hmm. And they're all fighting for those ratings. Right, and for those key time periods to be in. And but I got a feeling when yeah. Queen of Teeth comes on at 4 o'clock, you're going to be kicking butt well, at 4 o'clock. I'll tell you, it, it's funny you mentioned Will Smith in the movie um, because Will and Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith are behind the Queen Latifah show. Oh, are they? So, and, you know, they have a lot of great connections, and uh, it's going to be a lot of different topics, and then including some celebrities. So I think it's going to be really good. Oh, it's going to be great. I can't yeah. wait to see it. You brought some pictures, right? I did. You guys got those pictures ready? Yeah. I'm not sure what they were because we've well, had Well, we've got, I think, something from the show. Uh, you guys put any picture up you want, we'll just talk about it. We'll just tell it. you what it is. That's the new studio. Oh, yeah. Because when I was here last time, we were just getting ready to launch. Yes. Yep, in HD, in high definition. So that's wow. the new studio. I've got some pictures there. What, what you got next, guys? Silence. Yeah. You got the next one up, ready? There yep, we go. there it is. And there's the you can see the green screen and and the the the, the cameras and they see they have the monitors right under them. Mm -hmm. I've been over there for that. I walked around with uh, one of the girls and it's beautiful. Yeah, it's. What you got next? That's actually the weather center, but look what you can use it for for other things. Other things it's amazing. Yeah. It's yeah amazing. How many pictures did you bring? Four, three. Yeah, I think yeah. Four. And there, you can tell the background. Ah, me. There's Lisa. Yeah. That lady looks familiar back there. Who's that? I've met her before. Back there. Back in she's the our assignment editor, Jill Krause. Uh, oh. She works in uh, news. She's like she's one of our news Donna managers. Do? What's that? Donna. Isn't there Donna. A, a Donna that works back in that edit room that I talked to? Okay, she answers the phone, Donna. Our morning producer, Donna Lavoie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's our morning producer. That's Jill, though. Nice lady. Yeah, Donna's Very wonderful. Nice she lady. produces the morning show. Well, um, great things are coming. I great know, things exciting. are going on now. Fox 45, yep. ABC 22. Good stuff. Thanks for coming back. Really appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me back.